Good morning, boys and girls. I don't know why I look yellow. Maybe I'm an alien now. I'm not sure. But today we are going to read a book. And, or maybe I just need to look yellow on my screen. Maybe you don't see me as yellow. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Here we go. Today we are going to be focusing on text features. We know what text features are, right? We've been going over these for a very, very, very long time. Um, but I'm going to be pinpointing them out, and then you will have an activity to do afterwards. Um, so I hope that you enjoy. I love gorillas. Oh my gosh, I love gorillas. Like when I go to the zoo, first thing I go to is gorillas. They, like my one thing I want to do in life is to meet a gorilla, to touch a gorilla, to hug a gorilla. I love gorillas, okay? So we're going to read about them today because I love them. So here it is. It's called Gorillas. All right. Um, so I want you to think about what we're going to learn in this book. Hmm. What do you think the author is going to tell us about this, about gorillas? What do you think? So these are some words to know. Now, these are... Um, these are actually really, really, really big words, but we're going to get through them. I promise. We got this. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use my little red pen. We have communicate. We have endangered family groom. Oh, lowlands and primates. and primates. I think I might have said that already. All right. So here we are, the table of contents. What do the table of contents do for us? Oh my goodness. I pro you're probably annoyed with me saying this because I say it all the time, but the table of contents actually show us uh, what we're going to be learning about in the book. And it's also, these are actually headings, remember? Headings tell us what that paragraph is going to be about. So, oh, I also see another text feature. I see a map, right, with the key. Awesome. We're, this book is just filled with text features for you. So it looks like we're going to be learning about, of course, gorillas. Oh, my gosh. Could, could you believe it? We're going to learn about gorillas with a book named Gorillas. Oh, my gosh. So gorillas, gorilla families, gorillas show how they feel, Gorilla Smarts, Gorillas in Danger, and the Glossary. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going, like I said, I'm going to make sure I pinpoint all these text features I see because the activity you're going to do, you're going to have to find text features. And you might think, oh my goodness, Ms. Mariamiel, it's too hard. It's not hard because I'm literally telling you what the text features are right now. All you got to do is listen, not, why did it touch my eyes when I said that? Listen watch and listen that's it just intake all the information i'm about to give you okay all right here we go gorillas gorillas are family are members of the great ape family they live in the forest of africa some gorillas live high up in the mountains others live in lowlands so they live in the highs and they live in the lowlands right I see a text feature the bolded words i see our um heading I see a uh, photograph. This isn't an illustration. This was actually uh, taken by someone, right? And then I see a caption for this photo. And captions, remember, they tell us what the photo is about. So let's read it. A mountain gorilla top, which is this one, eats leaves in a treetop. A western lowland gorilla, which is bottom, crosses a river. Many lowland gorillas live in forest or swamps. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Just gorillas have strong, heavy bodies. They are the largest primates in the world. Monkeys, chimpanzees, and humans are primates too. So I see uh, bold words, which is where can we find those words? At the back of the book, right? We can find what they mean. I also see more photographs, but I also see a caption. Let's read it. A gorilla which is the top, is much larger and stronger than a monkey, which is the bottom left and the bottom, or the bottom right, which is 
or a chimpanzee, which is the bottom right. So we have a gorilla, a monkey, and a chimpanzee right here. Gorillas can walk on two legs as most people do. Most of the time, they walk on their feet and hands. This type of walking is called knuckle walking. Photograph right here. It says gorillas usually knuckle walk to move around. They can also walk using only their legs and feet as people do. Gorillas mostly eat leaves, stems, bark, fruits, flowers, and wood. Some gorillas also eat snails and insects, such as ants and termites. Gorillas build nests in trees or sleep on the ground. They never sleep more than one night in the same nest. They travel to different areas in search of food. So that's really cool. They like, okay, we go home every night, right? And we sleep wherever we sleep. And we do that probably every night. They don't do that. <laughs> they just like go around. They're just like little gypsies. They're just all right, let me go find some food and I'm gonna sleep here. And they sleep on the floor. I wonder if their back hurts because if I sleep on the floor, my back hurts. Maybe it's because I'm old, I don't know. All right, so we see a photograph here and it says a Western lowland gorilla eats a stem at the edge of a body of water. Oh, he's so cute. Why did I do that voice? I usually do that voice with my dog. I think I need some help. All right, we're going on to uh, another text feature. What is this? Can you say it out loud for me? It's a heading, right? It's a heading, which is what we also found in the table of contents, okay? It says a gorilla family is called a troop or band. A troop eats, sleeps, and plays together. Family members wrestle and play tag and catch for fun. They groom each other's fur. Grooming is an important way for them to be close and friendly together. So like us, like we have our mom, our dad, or stepmom, stepdad, or grandma, grandpa, their family is called a troop, okay? And uh, this is another photograph, which is a text feature, and it says in the caption, which explains what's happening in the photograph, young mountain gorillas wrestle and play fight. Look, they have that looks like Miss Marcielle and her younger brother, because even though he is 16, me and him, we wrestle. That's how we fight. We just, we just go at it sometimes. And I'm sure y'all wrestle with your, your, with your uh, family, not family much, probably brothers and sisters too. And maybe sometimes your mom and dad get mad. Yes, my mom and dad get mad at us too, because they say, Miss Marcy or Marissa, you're older than him. And I said, I don't care. I'm still going to wrestle him because he's mean to me. Okay, now I'm just rambling. Let's keep on going. A gorilla, baby, a, a gorilla baby nurses and stays close to its mother for a few years. It rides on her back to move around. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. And then, we, so we have another photograph, and then we have a caption, which explains what's happening in the photograph. A five-week-old infant western lowland gorilla clings to its mother's back so cute. I just want to hug the little baby. When a male gorilla grows up, some of the fur on his back turns silver. The male is then called a silverback. The silverback's job is to protect the troop. So we see another uh, photograph and we see a caption which explains what's happening in the photo. A silverback gorilla is roughly six times as strong as a human being. So he's like super, super strong. And honestly, he looks pretty scary. I would not mess with him. I would not want to wrestle with him at all. It's kind of like the dad of the family, like, hey, no one mess with my troop or family, whatever. <sighs> They're so cute. Look at them. Just look at them. Look at this face right here. I'm going to draw a little heart because Miss Marcial just is in so much awe. Uh, I absolutely love How cute is that? How can you look at these pictures and, I mean, you just have to think, wow. I love them, right? All right, so we see a caption here. Gorillas show how they feel. Sometimes gorillas' faces show how they feel. Is that kind of like us? Like Miss Marcia right now, she looks kind of crazy, right? They show face expressions too. Their faces can show if they are happy, sad, or upset. Gorillas make crying sounds when they are upset. They make laughing sounds when they are tickled. So that dude looks like, hmm, what am I going to eat for dinner? And this guy looks like he ate some Sour Patch Kids or something. I don't know, but I love that face. It's so cute. This one's in deep thought. He's like, hmm, I'm thinking about how cool Miss Marcial is. And this one's like, you better stop. 
you better stop, right? I would not. <laughs> These gorillas are so cute. I just can't get over it. All right. Oh, okay. Gorillas have other ways to communicate. Oh, I see a bold letter, which we could find at the back of the book, the meaning of it, right? They whimper, scream, bark, or grunt. They use they even use smells to silently warn other gorillas of danger. <clears throat> so I see a photograph here and it says a male mountain gorilla beats his chest as he makes a loud call. So that's what he's doing. Like, I think that's like when people picture gorillas, they kind of imagine them beating their chest and being like, ooh, ooh, right? that's what I think. I absolutely love this gorilla and actually i'm probably gonna add another video of this gorilla because this one means so much to me and i'm gonna tell you why so a woman named francine taught a gorilla to use sign language the gorilla's name was coco and coco used signs to tell francine what she wanted and how she felt during her lifetime coco learned to make more than 1000 different signs so um people who who use sign language they use their fingers to communicate to others and this gorilla learned sign language and would tell this woman how she felt so it's absolutely amazing and coco has been uh very dear to my heart because she's so smart she's an ape and she knew uh over a thousand different signs gorilla smart so we see another caption here which tells us what we're going to be learning about gorillas are very smart they can they make and use tools but this doesn't happen very often but this oh a gorilla can use a twig or, to fish for ants a gorilla can use a stick to check how deep a pool of water is a gorilla can use a rock as a hammer to break open nuts so see, here we see another photograph and a caption that tells us what the photograph is about. So let's read it. A three-year-old lowland gorilla uses a stone hammer to break open a palm nut. Gorillas in danger. Many gorillas have been killed by hunters. Their forest homes are being cut down. Gorillas are now endangered. Many people are trying to save these great apes. A man who works to save gorillas sits as close to an orphaned gorilla as she is released back into the wild. And then there we go. I hope that you enjoyed this story as much as me. Um, have a wonderful day and see you later. Bye.